in Cleveland, Ohio. It's an NBA Thursday night brought to you by ESPN on EA Sports as we get set for tonight's game between the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Washington Wizards. All right, as this game gets underway, Jeff, is there anybody that stands out in your mind that they need to focus on against the Wizards tonight? You've got to prepare for the backcourt. Everyone knows about the speed of John Wall. What they often don't concentrate on is the greatness of Bradley Beal. The ability to shoot it deep, to attack the rim, to impact the game on the backboard. I love the potential of Bradley Beal. Moskov for two, shoots away. Nice touch at the basket. From two. Last couple of years, what's been nice for Washington, John Wall's been healthy, and when he's healthy, he's one of the best, Jeff. He's a one-man fast break, pushing the ball with great pace in the open court. When he gets other guys running with him, they are terrific in transition. And then defensively, people still don't give him the credit he deserves. A very, very good defender on the ball. The assist from number 23. Wall on the drive. And the layup is good. That's just a nice layup right there. All by himself for three. The Cavaliers with the offensive rebound for a second chance opportunity. And he's fouled. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. I love everything about Moscow. His agility, mobility, and hostility. You take those three into account, you've got yourself a really good center. Looking for position in the paint. Wall fires with two on the clock. Shot no good. Hey, that's a tough shot right there. Solid team defense forcing the miss. Turnover forced by Wall. Adjusting in the air. Unable to bring it home. Getting the ball to the rim is so important to winning basketball. Great offense, great look. Just couldn't knock it in. Yep, he hit him. A foul called against Nene. And Kevin Love will go to the line. He's shooting 80% from the line this season. I really like this play right here. You're a great free throw shooter. Draw the contact and get two freebies. Jeff Smith won the NBA Sixth Man of the Year Award with the Knicks 2013. First Nick to win the award since your guy, John Starks, in 97. When Smith is right, he's a heck of a player. He is. Oftentimes we focus on his antics versus his game. But when he is playing at his high point, he's obviously a dynamic shot maker. But he's also a good passer. And I think that gets overlooked. This guy's a good NBA player. Unfortunately, we don't talk enough about his game. Well, clearly last year, Jeff, a coming out party for John Wall. You can see the improvement and the confidence in this young man. Well, absolutely. He has improved, and Mike, the biggest improvement is he's helping his team win now. You've got to, you're never going to be able to display all of your talents and skills in the NBA. You've got to learn to share. And I thought Wall last year did a great job of doing what he does best, but sharing with others. Gets the wide open look for three. And LeBron James with the jumper. Puts it in. He's among the lead leaders in scoring this season. Big time corner three right there. Beal against Smith. Looking to curl in. Adjusts. And Bradley Beal with a two pointer. Three minutes gone by in the first. The Cavaliers up by six. Moskov jump shot. Won't go from downtown. And I'm pretty sure 
His coach didn't give him the green light for that type of shot. To the reverse, the layup, no good. Washington's not having the kind of offensive consistency you need to win in this league. They just can't seem to get into a rhythm. Hits the three. Another from downtown from LeBron James. He's among the lead leaders in scoring this season. They haven't wasted any time in establishing an offense based around ball movement and player movement, and the results speak for themselves. Irving for three. And the defense gives up another easy basket. Jeff, they need a timeout, right? This is shocking right here that they have not broken the momentum by calling a timeout. This is what the weapon of the timeout is supposed to be used for if you're a coach. Break the momentum. To the basket, flips it up. Love the rebound. He's averaging nine boards per game this season. Jeff John Wall always had the talent, but now he's a pro and the leader with Washington. He really is. Listen, it was not easy for John Wall. He came into a horrifically bad team, and he persevered. Boy, oh boy, they finally call a timeout. They were long overdue for that. Finally, I guess they heard me from across the court to call a timeout. It's a little late, but better late than never. Williams against Wall. Jumper jump shot. It's good, and they extend the lead to double figures. The corner three and knocked it home. One minute remaining in the first quarter. Defense, defense, Wall on the drive to the rim. And Cleveland's called for the foul. Their second team foul. And John Wall will go to the line with under a minute to go here in the first. Oops, this is the first one. John Wall with five points. Lawrence trying for position in the paint. Love from outside, a three-pointer, and puts it in. He's averaging 16 points per game this season. Made the most of his opportunity, and he knocked it in. Three ball. Gortat, that won't go. Hey, you're not a one-man team. You've got to spread the ball around so that you can get better shots than that. A coach cannot stand for those type of shots. Schumper fires away from downtown. Puts it up. The Wizards with the offensive rebound for a new 24. the buzzer oh it's good first quarter complete cleveland's up by 11. stay with us for more nba on espn after this short break First quarter is done, set to start the second for the home team. Nice, comfortable way to come out and get that lead. And they did it with a good, balanced game. Offense, defense, and rebound. Throws it right back at him. We were talking about John Wall earlier, Jeff, and how he's handled his critics. Now, he deserves some of that criticism earlier in his career, but it also motivated him. If it's just the Twitterazzi of the world out there criticizing you, pay it no mind. You can't have too many voices in your head and play big time NBA basketball. You gotta know who to listen to and who to tune out. Making a play on the ball. And a foul is called. To number three, Mo Williams. That's his first personal foul. Team foul number one. 
making the baseline move. Sensational defense, sending that one back. Verizhaus looking to set up in the paint. Mozgov looking to dupe the defense, draws the double team, gets it to go. Timothy Mozgov, three for four from the field. You need guys who can make shots under duress and pressure. That was a well-defended possession, but that man stuck it, even against the best defense. Cleveland's leading Washington by a score of 29 to 16. Puts it up from downtown. Can't hit from way outside. Can't hold on to the ball. Nene for two. Unable to flip it in. Jumpert's looking to do damage in the paint. And they steal the pass. To the rim. Can't get the layup to go. Hey, you got to finish strong on those shots. You're right at the basket. You got to put the ball in the hole. Jumper for three with another shot. Nene the rebound. He's averaging five rebounds per game this season. When you see how many rebounds these teams have already combined for, the story about this game is rebounding. But the real story is neither team can make a shot. That's why the rebounding numbers are so high. And Washington calls a timeout. They need something to go right pretty fast. play Washington, you've got to be ready for one of the best backcourts in the NBA. As a coach, Jeff, how do you handle Wall and Bradley Beal? A perfect fit together for the Wizards. We talk about Bradley Beal's jump shooting, playing off John Wall's terrific speed and penetration, and then Beal's a good rebounder, and he, too, is an excellent defender. So they've got it covered at the offensive end and at the defensive end. It's good. A two-pointer. Marcin Gortat's three for five from the field. From beyond the arc, won't go from three-point range. Kyrie Irving's one for two from the perimeter. Oh, the rip-rocking slam from John Wall. The power and force of that dunk was off the charts. Jumpert against Beal, and now he moves around the defender. Williams jump shot. And the rebound taken by Wall. You gotta learn to win in different ways. Sometimes all your shots are going in, and the rebound totals are down. Here tonight, the ball isn't going in, so you've got to win the battle of the boards. Jumpert's three-pointer won't go. He's not a selfish player, but that was a selfish shot. Oh, he crushes him. What a dunk from John Wall. Poster! Oh, my goodness. What a dunk. Jeff, I know you're a big movie guy. This past offseason, LeBron James acted in some movies. Is he a better actor than a player? Well, his opponents would say he acts on the floor with some of his flops, but he's got another profession he's going to be good at. Mike, and doesn't it somewhat make you sick to your stomach that one guy is so good at so many different things? <laughs> Gets to the rim, puts it in, a two-pointer. And it's a 13-point lead for the Cavaliers. Look, you can't give up layups like that. you got to protect the basket and the paint at all costs. Out of bounds. David Platt switching a few players here. Backing his way down in the post. 
for the layup. Hits the shot. And Marcin Gortat with 10 points. Sometimes the simplest plays are the hardest ones to execute. Good layup. Irving against Wall. There's the pick. Cleveland's leading Washington by a score of 37 to 26. Gets it off. That's a two-pointer. No good. Gortat fires. It's good. A two-pointer. That's a 12-2 run for the Wizards. Irving against Wall. Irving for two. Let's it go. Nene the rebound. Picked off by Love. At the buzzer. And time expires here to end the first half. The Cavs up by nine. We'll be right back with more Thursday Night Basketball here on ESPN after this timeout. It's time for the Rose Report at halftime, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. The Cavaliers are feeling comfortable at the halfway mark. Clearly, the number of three-pointers these guys scored in the first half was incredible. And if they can keep that up, it's going to be tough to keep that team down. Have a look at the leading scores for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Wizards were definitely sluggish with their scoring to start this game. And no matter what kind of defense you're playing, if you're not leading on the scoreboard, you're not winning the game. It really is that simple. Have a look at the leading scores for the Washington Wizards. Game track. Defense. The Cleveland Cavaliers have been exhibiting some amazing defense in this matchup. Steals on the floor, blocks in the sky. They're dominating on defense all over the floor. Player of the half. Miles Golf tallied a lot of blocks in the first half and really made his presence known on the defensive end. I bet we end up seeing the opposition get even more timid around him. Who was cold? Every player that makes it to the NBA is a great athlete, but even the best players have off nights. Today has just been one of those nights for this guy. Here's our top plays from the first half. Number three. Number two. Number one. Mike and Jeff are ready to get started, so we send it back to them now. Welcome back to the Quicken Loans Arena for the second half of this basketball game. Along with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Breen on hand. Cleveland's got to be very happy, Jeff. Both ends of the floor, very impressive in that first half. What do you look for now? Well, if you're their coaching staff at halftime, you're just imploring your team, keep going. It's like when you're playing this well, you don't even want to take halftime. You just want to stay out on the court and keep going because you have such a rhythm to your game. Wall against Irving. In the paint. Good adjustment. Can't finish. Hey, that's a good look right there. Just couldn't get it in. Smith from downtown. Nobody near him. Puts it down. Oh, that's nice right there. The finish at the rim with the nice dunk. Smith against Beal. James the jumper. The Cavs with control on the rebound. There's the whistle. Bradley Beal picks up his first of the night. Cleveland's three for four from the free throw line. And he connects on the first free throw. 
great to see Kevin Love back in Cleveland. It was killing him to be on the sidelines during that playoff run last year, Jeff. He's going to be a huge bonus this season. Exactly, particularly when you miss due to injury, Mike, and he had sacrificed so much role-wise. And again, his ability to shoot long range, to post, and to offensive rebound, that combination is really difficult to find. Beal on the drive to the rim. Able to put it in. Washington's shooting 48% from the field in tonight's game. You're not going to see a better possession in the NBA from both sides of the ball. Good defense, good offense, good offense won out that time. Smith's not able to hit the three. It's all about making your teammates better. And the way you make them better is to give up a good shot to try to create a great shot. Porter fires away. Porter against Mozgov. Oh, rejected by James. James, four-time MVP, just one of five players to have won the award that many times. You look at the names he's quick. Bill Russell, Wilt Chamberlain, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Michael Jordan. He truly is one of the great players of all time. Well, there's no questioning that, Mike. I don't care what your top ten list, or even if you narrow it down to quote the Mount Rushmore of best players in NBA history, he's going to be under consideration. He can be, and maybe already is, the best small forward to ever play this game. Puts it up, deep corner shot. Can't hit the three. J.R. Smith's one for six from the outside. Hey, that shot right there, it's exactly the type of shot you have to force if you're the defensive team trying to work your way back into the game. Gortat fires away for two, unable to flip it in. I really like that. That's good defense, good sound defense protecting the basket in a close game. Rebound snatched by Gortat. Beal on the drive, lets it go for two, knocks it down. And Bradley Beal with 11 points. What separates teams in this league they are teams who go on the road find themselves in a hole and continue to grind. Grinding teams are never out of the game. They have worked their way back into the game, and now, hey, listen, it's not enough to get close. You gotta find your way over the hump. Number 43, Chris Humphreys. Entering the game, and he Euro steps his way to the basket. Nails it. That's a two-pointer. John Walls, five for ten from the field. That's just a nice layup right there. What a dunk. A look at the athleticism exploding up to finish with the hammer. The assist from number zero, Kevin Love. Four minutes gone by in the third. The Cavaliers up by eight. Porter against Jumper. Whistle sounds out of bounds, so it'll be Wizards ball. To the basket, off the mark from point blank range. No paint game, no winning. You've got to get the ball at the basket, and then you've got to finish when you get it there. Williams, it's good. Three-pointer. Cleveland's shooting 37% from beyond the arc here tonight. Hey, you kid, look at the technique on that three-point shot. The rhythm, the bounce, the arc, the follow -through. That's a big zero. And John Wall will go to the line and shoot free throws. He's one for two from the line tonight. Off the mark on the first free throw. Summing in for Washington, number three, Bradley Beal. Stepping in, the Cleveland. 
John Wall with 12 points. LeBron James. Jeff, we've talked so much about LeBron James, the championships, the MVPs, the incredible numbers. Sometimes we forget he's just a great team player. Who, Mike? Who, Mike? <laughs> LeBron James? I haven't heard of him. We haven't talked about him very often, have we, over the last decade or so that we talk about him on every broadcast, whether he's playing or not? Listen, the crux of this guy is this. He's a global brand, but at heart, he's all about the team. Irving into the front court. Goes out of bounds, so it'll be Cavs ball. It looks like a substitution. Ramon Sessions comes in for John Wall. Shumpert nails it. It's a double-digit lead. Got to be careful not to step out of bounds on the corner three. He does it, and he knocks it home. Side, unable to flip it home. Getting the ball to the rim is so important to winning basketball. Great offense, great look. Just couldn't knock it in. Nails the three. to adjust, nicely done. Good work to draw the foul. Washington's shooting 50% from the line here tonight. First free throw, perfect. Able to convert on both free throws. He just flips it up as time winds down. And that'll do it. Three quarters complete. Cleveland's up by 12. Stay with us for more NBA action after this short break. Jeff, earlier we talked about LeBron James. One thing we forget, he just loves to play. And that's what it comes down to, Mike. This can be a very boring profession if you don't love the game of basketball. And people out there, fans say, what do you mean if they don't love it? Listen, not every NBA basketball player loves the process and the lifestyle that comes with being an NBA player. They don't love the game. They love what the game brings them. They don't love the game of basketball itself. James does love it. And that's why, to me, he's been able to maintain such a high standard of play over the course of his career. Makes the adjustment, but misses. Double team still puts it up. And hey, you got to finish strong on those shots. You're right at the basket. You got to put the ball in the hole. James against Nene. Here's the pick. Smith jumper. Strong rebound by Wall. For two, puts it in. The Wizards down by 10. The assist from number three, Bradley Beal. The screen is set. Goes for the three-pointer. He sinks it. And LeBron James with 14 points. Sweet stroke on that shot, Mike. It looked good as soon as it left his hand. Humphreys is looking to operate from down low. Double team closing in. Denied by Mozgov. Beal won't go. Driving the ball into the paint is the most important offensive tool in the game. He had a great look. He just missed it. Sessions against Smith. And he curls in. Beal. Good finish inside. 
Bradley Beal with 13 points. Hey, sometimes good offense beats good defense. There's nothing to be ashamed with on that possession. That was a well-defended, well-contested shot. Curling in at the rim. Knocks down the shot. Timothy Mozgov shooting 80% from the field. Looks like we'll have a timeout. The Wizards down by 13. That's nice body control right there on that layup. Good finish. Sessions bringing it up here. Substitutions. Washington goes to the goal. And Ramon Sessions with a nice shot for two. Hey, you can only control what you can control. The defense there was great. It was just a better shot. On the run with the floater. And J.R. Smith with a nice play. All right, here's the replay. J.R. Smith with five points and one steal. Cleveland's leading Washington by a score of 64 to 51. Sessions against Irving curls in to the basket, flips it up. Oh, sinks the two-pointer. Here's the screen. Quick move to get inside. Oh, what a play! Oh, that's a sweet finish right there. Dunking the ball with strength and force. Moves around the defender. Tries to adjust the shot. Can't get the layup to drop. Off balance, still gets it off. That's good. A two-pointer. Three-pointer. Bam! Kyrie Irving's three for six from long range. You're in tight quarters when you're behind the three in the corner. Good job keeping his feet inbound, rising up, and making the three. Humphreys against Love. Sessions on the drive, blocked by James. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Wizards ball. And looks like both teams are making substitutions. Entering the game, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Number 20, Timofey Mosca. Wall for two. Nails it. Two points. The assist. Cleveland's leading Washington by a score of 69 to 57. Knocks it down. A two-pointer. And it's a 14-point lead for the Cavs. That's just big-time offensive basketball in the NBA. Searching the open man out, hitting him on time and on target, and then finally capitalizing by making the shot. Finds a space and takes the wide open three. Porter's long range jumper won't go. It's just been one of those nights. Good open shots that have gone missed. It's a make or miss league. Unfortunately, tonight they missed. Wall against Irving. One minute remaining in the fourth quarter. To the rim, it's good. The Wizards down by 14. The assist from number four, Marcin Gortat. Sloppy pass intercepted by Nene. And he puts it down. Oh, turnover. What was he thinking on that play? Who was he trying to pass to? Nice job drawing the foul. It's called against Smith. That's his second foul. And Otto Porter will get to shoot at the free throw line. This is the first. And misses the second as well. Irving against Wall. Gets inside, flips it home. Sometimes the simplest plays are the hardest ones to execute. Good way. The assist from number two, Kyrie Irving. Oh, nice rejection by Love. Puts it up. And Iman Shumpert with a rebound. Let's 
Bischoff follows with another shot. Hits for two. For two. And that will do it. The final score is 77 to 61. For Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew, this is Mike Breen saying thanks for joining us and good night. Hey everyone, it's Jalen Rose, and it's time for the EA Sports Post Game Wrap Up. The Cavaliers put together a nice win here today. They did it with blocks, and they did it with steals. More to the point, they did it with excellent defense. They committed to the grind and got rewarded as a result. Check out the leading scores for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Wizards couldn't put it together to get the victory here today. I'm sure they can't help but feel frustrated with the result, but they can't let that feeling linger. Sooner than later, they need to start thinking about the next matchup. Game track. Blocks. The Washington Wizards gave up a lot of blocks in this matchup. However, they did win in the four shots category, which is how I think a lot of those swats were even made possible. Player of the game. And now, of course, the stats. Who was cold? Every player that makes it to the NBA is a great athlete, but even the best players have their off nights. Today was just one of those days for this guy. Here are the top three plays from the game. Number three. Number two. Number one. This has been a presentation of ESPN on EA Sports. Until next time, I'm Jalen Rose, signing off.